Welcome to our online children's Liturgy of the Word. Today we celebrate the 18th Sunday in Ordinary Time. In today's Gospel, we hear how all of the good things that we do for others, the words of kindness, and the compassion that we share with others, is more precious to God than what we actually possess. As we listen to the readings, let's think more about this. To begin our time together, we pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving Father, thank you for all of the good things that you have given to us. May our lives be pleasing to you and produce a rich harvest in your loving kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, you have been raised to life with Christ. Now set your heart on what is in heaven, where Christ rules at God's right side. Think about what is up there, not about what is here on earth. You died, which means that your life is hidden with Christ, who sits beside God. Christ gives meaning to your life, and when he appears, you will also appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus told the crowd this story. A rich man's farm produced a big crop, and he said to himself, What can I do? I don't have a place large enough to store everything. Later he said, Now I know what I'll do. I'll tear down my barns and build bigger ones, where I can store all my grain and other goods. Then I'll say to myself, You have stored up enough good things to last for years to come. Live it up. Eat, drink, and enjoy yourself. But God said to him, You fool! Tonight you will die. Then who will get what you have stored up? This is what happens to people who store up everything for themselves, but are poor in the sight of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel reading, we hear the story of the farmer who stored up the great harvest he had produced. We might consider the farmer to be a rich person because of the amount of things that he owned. From another perspective, we might consider the farmer to be greedy because he was not satisfied with what he already had. He wanted more, and so he set out to make bigger and better barns to hold the harvest he produced. He thought the extra harvest would increase his fortune, and then he could eat, drink, and be merry. He thought he wouldn't have to worry about anything once he became wealthy. Jesus tells this story to teach us that money and the things that we have don't bring us lasting happiness. It's our love and care and goodness that are more valuable. The rich man could have shared his extra harvest with those in need, and that would have likely brought more contentment and happiness. The love, kindness, and compassion that we can give to others is a great gift, and these are the things that make us truly rich. The treasure that we all hold in our hearts is the ability to love. This week, enrich someone else's life by telling them how much you love them. Thank them for their love that makes your life rich too. With trust in our Heavenly Father and the riches of His grace, we make our petitions known to Him. That the Church may ever more effectively proclaim the true and lasting riches found for all people in Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that they may always be responsive to the needs of the poor, the hungry, and the vulnerable, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and their caregivers, that they may know the renewing and comforting touch of the Lord in their time of need, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, hear our prayers and grant us mercy. May we see you as our only lasting possession and enjoy life forever with you in your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for watching this online Children's Liturgy of the Word. We look forward to celebrating the 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time next weekend. To end our time together, we pray, Lord our God, we thank you for giving us the gift of love. Help us to always trust in you and know that our joy and happiness are found in you alone. Give us the wisdom, compassion, and generosity that we need to share the gifts that we have with others. May you be our source of security and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.